Guys, have you ever had problems drilling out three and a half liners after you set them? I mean, it's a real restrictive casing and you usually use turn down collars on two and three eighths. I want to show you something today, show you how to get around a few things. What I have set up in the vise over here is an actual chunk of welded liner pipe. And then I have a piece of uh, two and three eighths tubing in here with a full size coupling, which as you can tell, that does not fit. And that's why you'll have to go to a turn down coupling, which will actually work inside there, but it has very little clearance, which makes it hard to drill with. And as you can see, a turn down coupling, there is very little room for you to push water by to, to drill with. And you about have to go the long way on a situation like this so you don't get stuck in the hole and have cuttings go here and actually wedge you. And we do have two and 15 16 bit, which is the sec correct size to use. And as you can see, that just fits in there and that'll drill you out completely so you're not restricted on your ID. Um, we've had some guys use little mills before to drill this out and grind away. And you know, and that, that can work, but the holes get too small. And the neat thing about these, you know, nothing's welded, of course, it screws together has a tight little thread. We have some room inside there so we can actually get cuttings to come up through this and come out of the well bore so everything's clean for you. And the next part I'd like to mention is your mud pump choice when you do a job like this. It takes more pressure to push this out of the hole and that if you're not using two and the 16th tubing and two and three eighths, you need a bigger mud pump. So as you can see, when you're drilling with two and three eighths slim hole couplings, which would be this coupling right here, uh, you're very limited on your, your clearance here. And it's hard, you gotta you know, get barrel and a half, two barrels a minute, so you can actually drill and get your cuttings out of the hole. Uh, we have a pump that can do those high rates and make this work for you. And I actually have a, a few pictures from our a job this week with a guy. They chose to use uh, a mill. They had cut right on the bottom here and it has little tiny holes and they were forcing all this cuttings up those holes which was I mean that's some work it took 1300 psi uh, there's another a side view of it there's the top and it worked it was effective but it just didn't have the room that's actual pieces of rubber they drilled out of that well and those fit through that tiny little hole now that's what pressure can do for you. If it was a smaller pump that could only go to 800 pounds or 700, you'd have been pulling out of the hole, digging the rubber out, then here we come back the next day and another charge, you know how that works. With our pump, we just keep it going, we keep drilling and here comes the rubber. And that's, that's the difference in making it a one day job or fighting it all week. If you found value in this video, go over to aafishingtool.com and check out our other videos or get a hold of us, call us, and we'll, we'll talk over this job. We will be bringing you some more videos. There's, there's all kinds of topics like this I'd like to go over with you because visual aids are, are tremendous. Not, you don't have these all the time and it's hard to set those up in the field. Uh, so keep checking on our webpage, aafishingtool.com, for the current up-to-date videos.